And Welcome back to Say Sean Vlog. We are here with another snack crate. And this time it's Israel. Israel, where is it? And it's the final one. Israel. Yes, we have stopped the subscription of Snack Crate and we switched over to Snack Surprise. Not that there's anything wrong with Snack Crate, um, but we just thought the Snack Surprise that we tried um, was better value, so we're going to switch over to that for a few months and see how that goes. Um, but let's dive into some Israeli snacks. I'm actually quite looking forward to this box. Yeah. Um, if you like food tasting videos and, and this kind of thing, don't forget to give the video a thumbs up because it really helps us out. Leave us a comment down below um, if there's any but there couldn't be snacks that you think we should try and we'll see if we can find them. I really want a Greek box. Mm. Or a Mexican. But let's start with uh, some uh, Bisley pizza flavoured wheat snacks. We've got pizza seasoning in them. So it's seasoned, a zesty seasoning reminiscent of your pizza. Fish pizza. They don't smell like pizza. Pizza crisps normally smell like pizza because they normally smell really oregano -y. Remember these are wheat? But these ones don't. And they are pizza wheat, but not overwhelming. They're very crunchy. Not, any, not anything special in the flavour of those, I don't think. There's no oregano, it's just rosemary extract and garlic and onion. Yeah. Yeah. Did you know um, that Israel's the only country in the world that has more trees today than it did 50 years ago? Mmm. Mm. You wouldn't believe it. I did not know. Um, the next item is Bamba Peanut Butter Puffs Gluten Free. Peanut-y crunch. I'm sure we have some of that over here. Smell like peanut. It's highly regarded in Israel, this snack. These are very, very salty. Salty and dry. Like they're so dry. Peanut butter is not. Like the flavour's there, but it's not a really strong flavour. It's like a healthy peanut butter. Yeah. Peanut butter puffs. Um, they're my favourite item so far. I actually prefer the pizza one. Next up we have Bisley Falafel wheat flavoured yeah. snacks. These smell like curry. This is actually crispy noodle. Yeah. I like. Well, like, it's just falafel flavour, but it tastes like curry to me. It like, definitely tastes like curry. Like, bom like Bombay mix or something. Mm -hmm. Kent, yeah, like that. that's exactly what I think. Yeah. Um, like they're my favourite items so far in this box. My, these are my favourite so far. Yeah, they're my favourite so far as well. Um, did you know? Coffee and cafes are so good in Israel that it's the only country where Starbucks failed trying to break into the local market. But hold on one moment. There's a really snack made in awesome USA, Englewood Cliffs, New Jersey. Still an Israeli snack. Same. Same. Mm -hmm. Okay. What have we got next? Same. What have we got next? We have. Milk chocolate coins. This is the sweetest currency you can find. These foil wrapped chocolates are a traditional gift during Hanukkah. We actually give them at Christmas to people. That's when Hanukkah is. Yeah, that's it. Something my uh, mum always did. So there's the. I'm in a stocking. Would you like a big one or a small one? Yeah, a small one. Save it's the same chocolate. It yeah, looks let's it. Let's open these. It looks it. Do you not know how to open them? Yes. I just can't get it out. It is not the same chocolate. 
some chocolate as well. Uh, like one of our kinds. Oh. We didn't bring a drink. Oh. It's just cheap chocolate, a little bit darker than ours. Rather than. I thought there was a fruity sweeter. taste at first. No, definitely not. Oh, we've got more kinds. Save them for later. Save them for Ron. Okay. Click in milk cream. Next up we have click in milk cream. Crispy bar filled with milk cream, coated with white and milk chocolate. It says it's a sweet crispy bar filled with decadent creamy milk, then coated with a generous layer of white and milk chocolate. Mm. At all. Now I feel like you meant to bite the end off. What, and drink the hot chocolate through it? Yeah. No. Nope. Too sweet. That's his favourite so far. That's my favourite so far. Mm -hmm. Nope. I don't like milk. I don't really like chocolate. So. This is a pretty decent box so far. It's actually very sweet. Mm. These are... The official language of Israel is Hebrew. Yes, I know. Mm. Next these, up. These must be extra ones because they're not on the... We've got click balls. They're a bigger version of what you get in a, um, get the, the yogurts, when I pour it. They're a poor man's Malteser. No, what they, are. they remind me more of the... Basically they're just a small Malteser. No, they remind me of the um, bits you get in the... I know what you mean. I know what you mean, they're just like puffs of rice on it. Mm -hmm. mm. Israel has the world's um, largest amount of university group. Degrees on a per capita basis. Did okay. you know that? Yeah. No. Next mine. up we have Resic Man wafer rolls. But mind you having that when you hear about a lot of people with degrees, sometimes you hear about them being from Israel and degrees in specialised things. I know, especially if we've got three degrees. This is the sesame halva. It's like wafer in the middle. Made from ground sesame and I think it is the right. Is it the just a no, it's a Pesek It's a Pesek Zaman. It's quite nice. A really thick bit of chocolate on it. Yeah, and it's got hazelnut milk in the mix. Yes. And then it's dipped in milk chocolate. It's like a, um, like a hazelnut probably. Yeah, you can definitely taste the hazelnut. I'm trying to think, what does it taste like? A bit like a Kinder Bueno? Mm. Maybe? Yeah. Very sweet again. Okay, we've got two of these next ones. This is the halva. We have. Ah, chwa! Vanilla halva flavoured snack, 50% sesame. It's a protein bar. Made from ground sesame and sugar. This snack two. is unique to the Middle East. It is normally served in giant blocks in a variety of flavours. What it looks like. That looks, at first, I thought it looked like a fig roll. It looks, no, it looks like, like, it smells really sesame. -y. It's more like dough that hasn't been cooked. That's horrible. Yep. Oh! Yeah, it does actually give you that feeling. <laughs> oh! Right, we're going for the drink next. That's not the drink that said you were getting. Um, this is... Upside down. <laughs> um, I don't know. It's not the spring nectars, is it? Is it the same one? 
It's written in foreign. Yeah, it, it you, is. You it's, spring, get... it's spring necklace, but this one looks like it's going to be mango. Yeah, you were meant to get peach and peach or mango, but you got peach. Yeah. Oh, one, no, you got mango, sorry. This one looks like it's going to be mango flavour. Which you should like. Yeah, it's mango flavour. Okay. Mm. It would be nicer chilled, it's warm. Get your slips. Drink your slips, pet. I like that. I, I like that. I don't like that. I do. Um, the Mount of Olives in Jerusalem is the world's oldest continuously used cemetery. Is it? Yeah. I like a nice olive. Okay, next up we have Click Choco Kid. Just a milk chocolate bar with milk cream filling. Yes, the milk choco kid. This candy bar is made of silky milk chocolate mixed together with crunchy bits of puffed rice. This confection's texture is definitely something to call home about. Mm. I like that one. Oh no, I'm not calling home about it. I like that one. It's just a really thick bit of chocolate with milky cream in the middle. Mm. Again, it's very sweet. Too sweet. Very nice though. Because mm. you like sweet things. I like savoury. Did you know that pet lovers in Israel created the world's first pet? The world's first ever US cable channel for dogs. The, 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 the it's scientifically programmed to keep dogs entertained and comforted while they're at home alone. Hold on. You said they created the first pet. No, I didn't. At first, you listened to yourself back, you said they created the first pet. How did they do that? I don't know. We're having oodles of fun here anyway. These sweet, tiny, ball-shaped fruit chews are popular throughout Israel. We've included a few of favourite flavours for you to try. Do you want apple, blue raspberry or tiny, tangy, fruity chews? Can you please check that first? There is no gelatin. These are just going to be bits of sugar. It says chew. Which is why I said make sure there's no gelatin. It does say gum, but no, there's, there's no gelatin. But it's handy. They're, they're in, everything's in English. Yes, because they're made in America. Mm. Oh no, this one's made in China. So they may be a they're little all bit, kosher as well. So they might be a little bit fishy. They're made under the supervision of the Barat Ida Hakarid of Jerusalem. Let's try blue raspberry. This one's a mixture of all of them, I think. It's nice. They're my favourite thing. They are. They can't be gum. They're too small. They're just tiny fruity chews. I think they're just chews. But they're, they're my favourite thing in this box so far. The blue raspberry flavour is really nice. Okay. And last we have. Is it something safety? No, it is. Fluffy Tuffy. Fluffy Tuffy, and they sent us a blue one. It's just taffy. I don't like taffy. A purple one. And a red one. I'll smell the taffy, but I don't Which like taffy. Which one do you want to try? It's not taffy. It is. It's taffy. Chewy taffies. Do you want strawberry? This is strawberry. The blue one's strawberry. Which makes no sense. The red one is. I don't like taffy. Strawberry. Yeah. And the purple one is strawberry. It's not taffy. It's taffy. It's not. Chewy taffies. Is it just salt water taffy? No, no, it's just a fruit chew. Taffy is different to a fruit chew. Made differently. I know, but this tastes like a fruit chew. It tastes like a, a harder mau wam chew. Well, taffy does. Taffy is a bit similar to that. It's really making my mouth water though. Hmm. 
So that's the Israel box. And it also tells you how to make hummus. We're off to make hummus. Not really. Um, but if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Leave us a comment down below if you feel like it. Keep making memories. We'll be back next week with another video. Catch you later.